Now for the first method, you wanna head over to search and then type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters. Then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the latest drivers installed. I'm also gonna leave three links down below for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that will come with your graphics card. So for me, I have an Nvidia graphics card and I have GeForce experience. Now once you're on your software, you wanna click on the drivers tab and then click on check for updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Now if that's still not working for the second method, you wanna head over to search and then type in reset this PC. Click on it. We're not actually gonna reset it by the way. So now once you're on this next advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now. And then click on restart now again. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on troubleshoot. And then you wanna click on advanced options. And now you wanna click on startup settings. And then click on restart. Now once you're on this, we want to enable safe mode of networking, so either click on F5 or click on 5 on your keyboard. Now once you're on this, we're going to head over to search and then type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator. Now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Now while this scan is running, we're going to head over to search again and type in CMD again, then you want to run it as administrator. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in CHK DSK and click on enter. Now once you've done both of those, you want to click on the Windows start icon, Click on the power button and then click on restart, which will then take you back to normal windows. Now the problem should be fixed. 